Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial. I'm just going to go through all the different tools, textures. Uh, a lot of mappers out there actually don't know anything about these, and they're extremely important. I know I spent a lot of my first maps not using these at all. So, all you have to do is have a brush, click on it, hit Shift A, like you would do with the texture, go to Browse, and type in the word Tools, T-O-O-L-S. It's going to bring up all these different textures that have names on them. I'm going to go through maybe the top eight that I use. The rest are pretty unimportant or useless. So all you have to do is select one of them, let's just say Fog, apply it. It doesn't matter if the texture is backwards or anything or if it's aligned. It just has to be that texture and certain qualities will come with this tool texture that you select. So, anyways. Our first texture, our first tool texture, is called the Area Portal. This one's really important if you have a map that has a lot of uh, pieces to it, a lot of buildings, and it seems to be slowing down. What Area Portal does is if you have a doorway like so, you add this Area Portal in the doorway, and it makes it so you can only see th the room on the inside. It basically blocks your vision. It makes like a, a depth of field so everything past that you cannot see. So let's say there were people over there, you wouldn't be able to see them. This is good if you want to make sure your map is a little bit quicker. It makes it um, render a lot faster. So just keep that in mind. Number two, this is the block bullets texture. Obviously quite straightforward. Makes it so bullets cannot go through it. This is important if you have like windows that you don't want to be able to be shot through, etc. Just add a block bullets texture and it's great. Just make sure um, grenades cannot go through it as well, so just so you know. The invisible texture. This is basically what it sounds like. It's a texture that's invisible, and it makes it so players and objects cannot go through it. So for example, I make a fence around a lot of my maps, and what I do is I, um, I cut a brush and make it so it's about the height of a person, and then the bottom part of that becomes a fence texture, the top part of that becomes an invisible texture, so that way people can't jump over the fence. It's, it's kind of like if you want to add some sort of a, um, something to stop people from going through it. I just found out about this one, it's called Player Clip. What it does is it's like the invisible texture, but the only thing it applies to is players. With the invisible texture, it blocks bullets as well. The player clip, you can add this, let's say you are you have some like um, letters that are sticking out of the wall, maybe it says your name on it, you could add the player clip so it makes it so you don't get, s you don't stop when you run into the uh, letters. It's kind of like a blocking system for players. Very nice. No draw. This is something extremely important. A lot of mappers don't know about it. What it is, is um, Hammer does not render it, and so does Half-Life. Half-Life doesn't render it, so what you can do is everything on the outside of your map, things that you're not going to see, you should apply this no-draw texture to it. So for example, you could go to the outside of the map and apply it to the wall, and because players are not going to be looking at it, there's no reason for it to be rendered. So just apply the no-draw texture if your map is being slow. I just tend to do it because it's a good thing to do. Skybox, I already went through this with the Skybox tutorial. Just apply this to the outside of your map, a box around your map, and it's going to create a 2D Skybox for you. Um, you can look at my tutorial for that. And this is the trigger to, uh, texture. I also went over this in one of my other tutorials. Apply this to brushes if you want to have some sort of trigger. Um, tied to the brush. This makes it so when a trigger is uh, tied to it, it becomes invisible, but just realize that if you don't have a trigger tied to it, it is going to be seen by the players. And lastly, I also talked about this one, but it's the ladder tutorial, or the ladder texture. Basically just makes anything that has this texture climbable. 
yeah, so that's it. Um, those are the textures. Use them a lot because they are very useful.